Now we come to the brow chakra, which is the sixth chakra, located right here in between the eyebrows. Some people will call that the third eye or the, uh, the brow chakra. You can heal with one hand like this or with both hands covering like this. The complication being, if you hold your hands like this, you won't be able to see the video. <laughs> so for the purposes of our video, I'll do with one hand like this. If you're laying down in bed or on a yoga mat, giving yourself Reiki, the arms may not get quite so tired. For the purposes of this video, and for the purposes of training yourself, I do suggest that you maintain sitting the whole time. This helps us to stay more alert. The brow chakra develops during our adolescence and our teenage years. And the energy at the brow is, is more subtle than the energies at the lower chakras. For example, if you look at the element at the root chakra, it is the earth element. Or if you come up to the solar plexus, it's the fire element or the air element. Now we're dealing with the element of light. One of the best ways to develop the brow chakra is through meditation. Meditation will help refine the energies of the brow chakra. Now the brow relates to the brain, uh, the eyes, uh, spiritual or psychic vision. It relates to our intuition, intelligence, memory. I always encourage my students who are learning Reiki to practice meditation every day. If you cannot do it, all the more reason that you need to practice. As we bring energy to our brow, it will help us to relax. And you may find that at the brow, you spend more time than the other chakras because this is the location of the brain and the chakra is where we get our stress marks, our stress lines, confirming the need for Reiki and meditation for our mental and spiritual well-being. Some people will come to Reiki expecting to become psychic or mind readers. I don't recommend that path. Not that they're wrong or bad, it's just they can be a distraction, like we've talked with other phenomena that occur. I think what it is, as we meditate long term, practice Reiki long term, we become more sensitive. I think intuition is something that develops as part of our normal intelligence. It's a knowing, it's an awareness of what is suitable in each circumstance. This comes through practice. Finding a great guru or having a special initiation does not create that. What creates it is practice. Reiki on a regular basis, meditation on a regular basis, regular exercise, pure nutrition, a lot of time outdoors. All of these things develop the whole being and more specifically the finer, more subtle energies at the brow. Remember, you can use both hands like this. If it's more comfortable or more needed, bringing them over to the temples, the energy will find where it needs to go. Let the energy flow. Relax. Sit silently now and allow the energy to flow.